Hi guys, it is another gray, gloomy, rainy day. Imagine that. Now in the fall of 2021, looking a whole lot like the summer of 2021, here in the collapse of global industrial civilization in the waterlogged Finger Lakes of New York. And it is now a gloomy Tuesday, September 28, 2021. And uh, just going through all of these container ship stories piling up like container ships uh, on the mainstream media. This, this one from Quartz, this one really brings home the, uh, you know, they say a picture says a thousand words. Uh, let me make sure you can see this picture. If, if there is ever a picture of the if not the collapse of global industrial civilization, at least the uh, the reason that global industrial civilization needs to collapse. Look! Look at this picture. Uh, th this is what it looks like right now uh, out at the docks over there in uh, in L.A. It's, uh, <laughs> you know, every one of these ships, the, the, the docks are completely uh, full of this crap. It says 98%, 98% of the warehouses in, uh, in Southern California are, are full to the brim. Uh, it, it is absolute turning into gridlock. And this story in Quartz uh, titled, Cargo Ships Are So Stuffed That Ports Are Struggling to Unload Them. And you know, what it's talking about is, is that one of the reasons all of these things are piling up uh, is that they're packing these ships uh, just literally over the top. Cargo ships are piled higher with containers than they have ever been, according to data from analyst firm IHS Market. And the crowding is worst on board ships sailing into U.S. West Coast ports at the port of Long Beach. That was Long Beach, which has been mired in record backlogs for months. The average container ship now brings in 7,000 containers, up 70% from the pre-pandemic average of roughly 4,000 containers. The glut of containers is overwhelming strained port infrastructure, especially at older ports like Long Beach, which already faced frequent delays. Uh, according to one of these analysts who, who look at stuff. Uh, <clears throat> quite a few of those ports have really gone beyond the breaking point now. He said, that would be what you are seeing on the U.S. West Coast and more and more now on the East Coast as well. Uh, that's my little heater that somehow made it to uh, made it my made in China heater that actually made it here. So anyway, guys, th this container ship thing, uh, seven thousand per ship. There, there, there is. It, it, and and what it says in the story, it, it, they only have so many cranes to unload these things. They have the same number of cranes uh, that that they did several years ago. Uh, anybody who thinks that uh, the, the, the supply chain crunch uh, is going to fix itself anytime soon. Uh, uh, anyway, this is an absolute uh, perfect example of how the collapse is going to look as things just start breaking down. Uh, this whole system uh, the, the, this overwhelmed system of, uh, uh, you know, this global trade with these giant container ships, this crap. There's nowhere to put this crap. Uh, 
good lord and, and of course nowhere I have never read anywhere in this article I have probably read 100 articles uh, <clears throat> in the mainstream media in the past couple of weeks nowhere have I ever seen the opinion that maybe we need to start cutting back on this planet eating crap. I've never seen it analyzed how much of this crap uh, that we need in our lives. Uh, you know, they're talking about everyone freaking out uh, about their damn Christmas presents. Well, why don't you stop buying Christmas presents, asking for Christmas presents? My uh, Christmas budget for the last 12 years, my combined Christmas budget has been zero, zero, zero. Okay, get this crap out of your life. I don't know, make a, uh, if you're so intent on uh, spending your money on something, uh, why don't you, I don't know, uh, donate to some charity and uh, in the name of your friend or something but anyway being a doomer I, I I have to say you know looking at that photo just really what is the, the caption of the photo pop quiz can you find space in this congested shipping yard to neatly stack the thousands of containers that need to be unloaded from this one ship and then of course every bit every single bit of this crap uh, ha has to be put on a truck so I'm thinking each one of these containers is is each one of these containers a semi truck uh, I think maybe they can put two of them on a truck anyway guys get out there and go Christmas shopping while you still can but uh, we do have <clears throat> a bright ray of sunshine on this gloomy day I have to admit I uh, I got a huge smile this story here put a smile on this doomer's face I'm uh, sure Andy the gardener will get a uh, laugh out of this one too you know, one of the many things that we're facing shortages of now are these are, are these computer chips. You know, like running this computer and running this camera, probably running that heater. You know, these all of these chips that we depend on uh, for our cozy little lives in global industrial civilization. But of course, one of the main places that these little bitty chips are now going to is your gas sucking car that uh, I don't know when the first computer chip hit a hit a car but now you cannot make a new car with uh, without these things and and now even most of the used car market the vast majority of the used car market if something goes wrong with one of your little computer chips uh, you're screwed this is from the website Motorious get it M-O-T-O-R-I-O-U-S Motorious what does Motorious have to say about the chip shortage? Chip shortage absolutely tanking new car sales. More good news about the global semiconductor chip shortage and the auto industry. Uh, obviously, they did not say good news. Uh, you know, according to 99.9% .9 of clueless morons on the planet, and if I have a chip malfunction in my own truck I will join them uh, more bad news about the global semiconductor chip shortage in the auto industry a new forecast from some group called Alex partners you know one of these auto sales analysts pegs 
automakers' losses to be far greater than initially expected. The consulting firm believes the shortages will lead to 7.7 .7 million fewer cars built in 2021, leading to a loss of $210 billion in automakers' profits worldwide. Previous projections were of a $110 billion shortfall, meaning the, sh the fallout of the chip shortage could be catastrophic. Hallelujah. As a result, automakers have been forced to cut production of some cash cow model lines. I love it. Cash cow model lines. Uh, here is Ford uh, has temporarily shut down its Kansas City assembly plant where the F-150 pickup is made. Um, let's see, they have halted production of the Ram 1500 pickup in Michigan. You know that monster truck, the Ram 1500 has been shut down while Toyota's Indiana plant has been temporarily shut down, meaning for now any way fewer Sequoias, Highlanders, and Siennas. It doesn't mention that Toyota Tacomas have been affected. It's these, uh, you know, these big old SUVs, the Highlander and shit. Uh, <clears throat> Mark Wakefield, the global co-leader of the automotive and industrial practice at Alex Partners, said in a release statement, quote, everyone had, had, had hoped that the chip crisis would have abated more by now, but unfortunate events such as corona panic lockdowns in Malaysia, yes, and continued problems elsewhere have exacerbated things, close quote. So three cheers for corona panic lockdowns in Malaysia. Uh, so I guess I have to go back on uh, the Derek Jensen uh, deep green resistance side of the fence now claiming corona panic is a good thing for the planet. So thank you, Corona Panic Economic Lockdowns for 7.7 .7 million <clears throat> fewer cars being built in the, on the planet. Okay, according to Wakefield, many more materials besides semiconductors are now in short supply, adversely affecting the auto industry. These include steel, resin, and of course, don't forget human capital. Don't you love that word? Human capital as lockdown measures in various countries put the squeeze on the global economy. You go lockdowns. <clears throat> Dan Hirsch, another managing director at Alex Partners Automotive and Industrial Practices, said the, quote, shock absorbers of extra supplies of different materials often held by automakers and parts manufacturers to smooth out supply blips are now essentially depleted, like so many other things. Uh, good luck on getting your auto parts. Uh, they are running out. That means pretty much any shortage, pretty much any shortage anywhere in the world, there you go, pretty much any shortage anywhere in the world affects automakers and parts manufacturers around the globe, resulting in fewer consumer products. That is bad news, whether you are shopping for a news car, 
a new a used car, I love it, whether you are shopping for a new car, a used car, or even automotive parts for your gas sucking car. I have not been, uh, I have not had to test this out. I'm glad to say uh, <clears throat> at this point, no automaker is unscathed from the shortages. Entire factories have now been idled, assembly lines have been scaled back, and the end result is far fewer new cars at dealerships around the world. With that reduced supply, used vehicle prices have skyrocketed, a phenomena which does not look to be changing anytime soon. About 80% of semiconductor chips are currently made in Asia. Uh, Intel is building two new foundries in Arizona in an effort to bring more of the manufacturing process back to North America. Good luck. Uh, they are... Who is this? Uh, I'm not sure who... Rhyme, oh, Secretary of Commerce Gina... Raimondo said, not having much chip production being done in the United States constitutes a, quote, national security risk. Yeah, because talking about, and this gets into a whole nother uh, rant, which I don't have time for, uh, which is a whole nother story about how the vast majority of uh, these computer chips, not only in our cars and computers and all of our household products, but the number of uh, computer chips needed for you, the, the U.S. military is one of the biggest buyers of computer chips. Well, guess who is making uh, the vast majority of the computer chips used in uh, weapons manufacture, that would be China. Uh, China and Malaysia and all of these uh, other folks that uh, the U.S. military is now depending on uh, foreign chip makers to, uh, def you know, to, to build up the weapons so uh, I, I, I love it. If the, if the rest of the world wants to protect itself from the U.S. military, the best thing they can do to protect themselves is to stop sending us chips that we need to build more weapons of mass destruction. So what's good or bad for cars, probably good or bad for weapons of mass destruction. Uh, thank you, Corona Panic Lockdowns, for that. But anyway, I got to wrap this up because I see I have some, uh, some person is trying to book my tiny house, and Airbnb is not letting them book the tiny house. Uh, going from being a doomer to an Airbnb host. <laughs> I, I love walking with, uh, with feet in two worlds. Anyway, I'm going to take off the WASF hat and put on the, uh, the Airbnb hat. Bye, guys.